So, you know, one of the one of the questions that I will ask, you know, when I'm when I'm teaching my HR class to employers, managers, right? Um, And or, you know, when I'm teaching my, you know, college level class um, for HR at NYIT, I will ask people, so if you're not a U.S. citizen, is is an I-9 proof that you're a U.S. citizen? It is not. (laughs) You can still work in the United States if you're not a a U.S. citizen, if you have the right identification. And this is where it really gets slippery and confusing for employers. This is where they're calling me (laughs) and saying, I never saw this form, Mary. Can I take this? And by the way, the division of, um, of DHS and ICE change what they accept and what expires and what doesn't expire and what matters. And, you know, we can't get into that level of detail today, but that is what how we add value as HR consultants. So, again, when you look at the form, you're like, wow, that seems pretty easy to fill out. But when you understand the nuances and you get an employee who gives you a form, um, you know, a green card or some type of eligibility that you haven't seen before, you know, it may be, you know, hard to understand. One thing that is very, very clear, you cannot accept anything that is expired, right? Um, But there are things that you can accept and say, okay, you've got a certain amount of time to get me the right form.